All right, we're going to learn how to name acids. Um, you know how to name bases and salts because it's just regular naming on your ion chart. You look up the positive ion, look up the negative ion, and stick the names together. Okay, those are easy. Acids, though, are a little more difficult. So according to this, the ionic compound, an acid is an ionic compound in which the cation or the positive ion is hydrogen. Okay, and we should know this already. So all our acids are going to start with hydrogen. Okay, so it says fill in all the negative ions or the anions in your list. So here, where do I get these? I'm going to get these from my ion chart. Okay, so if it's a single ion, where are all my negative ions? Over here in the nonmetals, or a lot of them are going to be polyatomic ions. Okay, so if we see A-T-E, I-T-E, remember that's our clue that they're up here with a couple of exceptions. All right, so let's look at this nitrate. I'm going to find nitrate, that A-T-E ending. That's my clue that I'm looking in my polyatomic ions, and here it is. Uh, NO3 with a negative 1 charge, so I'm going to write that in my box. NO3 with parentheses with my negative 1 charge outside. Okay, the next one says formula. What am I going to do to write formula? I'm going to swap and drop. Swap and drop with what? Well, what did I say all acids are going to start with? Oops, is hydrogen. Okay, so I've got positive 1 hydrogen, the negative 1 nitrate, so if I swap and drop, those cancel out, so I get HNO3. Now I'm ready to name this. So I'm going to use this little cheat sheet up here to learn how to name. If my anion ends in ATE, such as this one, it says we drop off the ending and we add X. So I'm going to drop off the IT or the ATE and I'm going to add X. So I get nitric acid. Okay, you with me on that one? Let's look at a different one. Let's go down here to one that's an ite. Okay, here's one. Here's nitrite. So I'm going to do the same thing. I find nitrite, NO3, no, nitrite's NO2 minus 1. So there's NO2 with a negative 1 charge. And who's he going to bond with? Again, hydrogen. Okay, swap and drop, plus one, negative one cancels out, so I get HNO2. But this time when I name it, it ends in ite, so I drop off the ite, and what do I add? O-U-S. So, coming down here, what's the name of this acid? Nitrous acid. Okay, let's look at the last one. If we've got one, let's look at this phosphide, okay, that IDE ending, that's usually my clue that it's over here with this bunch, and there is phosphide, okay, and it's P minus 3, okay, negative 3 charge, and again, who's he going to bond with? Hydrogen, okay, so when we swap and drop with that, what do we get? We get H3P, and then let's go up and look here, look how to name this that ends in IDE. So it says, if it ends in IDE and there's no oxygen, what do I do? I put hydro in the front, drop off the IDE, and add X. So let's look at that. I'm going to drop off the IDE. So I have to put hydro in the front. Hydro. Only the ones that end in IDE get hydro. Hydro, phos, and here you have to add that OR back in, phosphoric acid, hydrophosphoric acid, okay? So any of these that end in IDE, you know they're going to get at the hydro. All right, if you have any questions, just ask.